All right, guys, short video. Well, I don't know how long it's going to be because I don't know how long it's going to take me to do it. bought this thing here off a of marketplace, traffic light. And when I got it, only the red worked. When I took it, opened it up, it just had some bad bulbs. So uh, it's got, uh, I put LED bulbs in it. And uh, of course it doesn't blink. going to turn over in it. Dead gummit. I need it really need to stay over this way if it will. Anyway, I'll do that. So uh, when you see these on the pole, all the wiring goes to a central control unit. That's why they don't blink here. You have to uh, put a board in it to make them cycle like you would see them on a traffic light pole and that's what I'm about to do uh, like I said when I got it only the red light worked and I opened it up and they had uh, the fluorescent bulbs in it the little squiggly ones two of them were bad so I put LEDs in all three of them and we're going to pull this junction out and put my board right there and wire it up and see what happens this is the board of course if you look on uh, Amazon, there's a bunch of these, and you'd know I'd order the wrong one, because most of them you see come with the little white things that go in these four holes, and they have two-way tape to stick them down. Mine didn't have that, so I guess I'm going to have to put a screw, hopefully through that, that holds that in there, use that to, to hold it or something. We'll see what we got to do. We'll do something where it's wrong. Anyway... We'll come back when we get some stuff wired up here. We'll see you here in a little bit. All right, guys. We got her wired up. It's the next day because I didn't have enough connectors to uh, to do everything. And this turned out to be a little bit more complicated of a, of a, uh, a wiring than I thought it was going to be. Of course, I researched and researched and researched and... I finally made the selection for the board that I wanted. And of course, I got the wrong board. I, I didn't get the wrong board, but <clears throat> I'm sure I could have got one that it was much easier to program. See the uh, red light there tells you you got power and then it'll uh, show you the uh, the colors when it's doing what it's supposed to do. Now, the problem is, is... Uh, I thought you run AC to the board and then you just run the lights to the boards, but you have to run AC to the board and then to all the light connections. So the board just connects the two together. I don't know if you can how well you can see that, but you see how it's wired. I have a white wire which is see that's the red goes to the light. And then the white wire is connected with this red wire that has constant 110 volts. Well, I didn't really like that because I had to run 110 volts here and I had to run it to each one of these. And then I had to run the light from the wire to each one of these and uh, connect it to the 110. So all the grounds go from the light directly to this connector here where they're all just, let's see, the blue, yep. The red here is power. See, I have uh, the one that goes to there, and the three white ones go to the lights. And then over here, somewhere, the blue one is the ground, and it has all the grounds for all the lights, and the yellow wire is the ground for the uh, input to the board. I chose this board because it has a, uh, a way to set the uh, time of the lights on. A lot of them I've seen people do, they <clears throat> they switch real fast. And I didn't like that. I wanted mine to, I gotta figure some way to mount that board. I wanted some way to, uh, to, uh, I lost my train of thought. Some way to control the time. I see a lot of guys do them and they just go bink, bink, bink. They'll go green, red, uh, green, amber, red, and then red, amber, they'll just go back and forth. Well, I want to be able to select the mode that I do because I want it to look like the traffic light that we see here in America. I don't know if anybody from out of America watches my videos, but our traffic lights are, are red 
and then they go green and then they go orange amber to warn you that it's fixing to fiction to turn green I mean red so I wanted a uh, a unit see now and I wanted to be able to select the times because the ones that I see a lot of people do they blink real fast they just go back and forth but anyway these are on 10 seconds this is on 10 seconds this is on five seconds and I drilled a hole in the side of the box this is all plastic so I could run my cord in there and tie a knot in it so you can either set it on the table on this end or you can hang it from the hanger up there and here's what I did down here this is the uh, these come in these in these lights so I got 110 coming in here and then I got the two wires coming out going up to the board if this was uh, on the uh, pole all of the lights would plug to these there's one here and there's one up there these lights would plug to this and then they'd have a harness going from this side down to a central control unit that controls the entire intersection so the little board takes the place of uh, controlling the uh, the intersection light you know so anyway we got her going we just got to figure out where we're going to mount it i'm going to button it up i got to figure out some way to mount that board which i, I don't guess it'll hurt to set there everything's plastic it's not ever going to not ever going to hurt anything so i might just let it dangle i don't know we'll see anyway that's all we got for today i guess in one of these videos i'll i'll have it hanging up in the shop have her working and we'll uh come back when that's done other than that we got the head off of the nissan about got the motor out of it and they uh, got some more parts for the go-kart and i got ready to finish it maybe and i have the colorado if you're new to my channel because of the traffic light uh i do automotive co related content which traffic lights automotive related memorabilia maybe every shop or man cave needs a traffic light and they're all over the internet for sale uh i give 60 dollars for this light and the uh it like i said had uh, fluorescent bulbs two of them were bad i put two bulbs in it and it worked but they were all three lit up at the same time the uh, board was 40 or 50 i think 50 dollars on amazon and there's a bunch of them on amazon so i wouldn't hear let me uh what i do with my paperwork i'll let you see how it says to wire this thing i know i brought the board the paperwork what i do with it did i oh oh no bear with me y'all i'm old and fat it's hard to get down here on the ground i think i would have kept up with that better wouldn't you hope you don't get seasick easy okay so not sure if i got it i think i got it right so you can see the top is 110 volt you can see how it's got to be wired you can screenshot it and save it you can kind of look at this one as opposed to the other ways of wiring it down here it'll work dc voltage from uh, one volt to 100 volt so if you want to rig one up for your rv that'd be pretty cool have it at your campsite or in your pit area or whatever that'd be kind of cool and I guess a guy could wire one of these up and uh, you could do that. You could wire this up on a button and uh, fix it where you could use it for street racing or something. You know what I mean? You can put it on a pole and push it, you know, have it red, push a button, have it flip from red to green, let them go. That'd be pretty cool. Because it's big, big and bright and LED. I put LED bulbs in it. So it'd be real bright at night anyway like i said i'm gonna put all the paperwork inside so anybody else wants to if i sell it or trade it or whatever they'll have all the paperwork so like i said if you found my channel because of the uh traffic light i buy and sell i do big bigger projects like uh colorado is ls swapped it's for sale on marketplace corvette is uh got a six liter ls in it and it's on the carburetor so uh and the transmission is no good i got a 700 r4 i got to put in it when i get this little nissan done 16 silverado out there i done a tranny upgrade on it there's all kinds of videos 
on multiple multiple projects a diesel bug a diesel jetta and a turbo s bug there's a bunch of them if you go through my my library it would be a big help like share tag and comment and, and if you would subscribe i'd appreciate it don't cost you nothing and uh that's about all i got today anyway thanks for watching